Thank you for joining us today. If you haven't found a seat already, please find one. There's plenty of room, I believe. Um, my name is Mark Anderson. I'm the director of the Vintage Report program, and I'd like to welcome you uh, to the 2019 Napa Vintage Report. I'm very excited to be here. Um, I know a lot of people have been here before. I see a lot of returning faces. Uh, but basically, my shtick is I come up and I describe a little bit more about why we're here, uh, what it is we're aiming to accomplish today, uh, and then we're going to get into our speakers. So uh, the first question that I always try to answer is, what is the Vintage Report? Uh, well, the Vintage Report is a thought leadership symposium which specializes in the field of enology and viticulture. Our emphasis is to be able to understand and dissect last year's vintage in order to make progress in the coming vintage and in many growing seasons to come. We are a globally connected thought leadership symposium. Last year, we conducted events in 11 locations around the world, including in uh, the United States, in South America, in France, and we also did a program in Tbilisi, Georgia. Um, we have five locations here in, in America. Um, we just got done with our SNOMA event last week. We're headed up to Walla Walla at the end of next week. Um, and uh, we're very proud to have uh, established these five events uh, around the country. Um, another thing that we're very happy about is that this is the 10th time that we've ever done a vintage report here in Napa. So I, w I wanted to thank the folks who have been with us since uh, that first event, because I know that there's a lot of people in this room uh, who have either been to every single vintage report or been to almost every vintage report. And it's really the dedication that you guys bring to our event uh, that allows us to keep going year after year. Um, and for us, it's been a journey. We've learned a whole lot. Uh, we've learned a lot from the speakers who have dedicated their time um, to presenting content at these events. Uh, we've learned a lot from the data that we've collected and analyzed throughout the year. Uh, and, and again, we've learned a lot from you guys. Um, we've learned a lot from the needs of every wine grower in this room and the evolution that we are all going through together. Um, and really, it, it kind of focuses on this mantra of wine growing, uh, a process that starts in the vineyard, is perfected in the cellar, uh, to create and establish uh, you know, a link with the customer who, in, many, in most of our intentions, is enjoying a wine that is a, a picture of a place, uh, a sentiment of a time. Um, and so it's this circular connection that uh, we think is wine growing. And we know that you are practicing this every single day of the year uh, with the art form that you're creating. And it's this also this circular connection that we're going to be discussing throughout the day today. Uh, we have many presentations from all different uh, segments of the value chain. And um, I'm going to talk about what that means here in a second. And throughout every Vintage Report, we really focus on three distinct themes. Um, and these are really the interactions. The interaction, we study interactions, the interactions between climate and the vineyard, the interaction between the vine and the fruit, and the interaction between fruit composition, wine composition, and the influence of the winemaking process. And Again, we're going to be seeing these three themes in pretty much everything we do in one way or another. Um, some presentations are, are more highlighted in this regard than others, um, but uh, we do really stick to these core tenets and that's what creates our content. So I'm gonna break down the agenda for us all. Um, and it's, it's, it's split up into multiple different segments. Um, after this introduction, we're going to be hearing from our keynote speaker, Nova Katamatre, and I'll be um, discussing a little bit more about that in a second. Uh, then we will hear from Dr. Greg Jones of Linfield College, who is with us here today. Uh, and then we'll be hearing from uh, Thibaut Skolash for the first of several different times. Um, and all of these speakers will be focusing on some element of the vintage analysis. The next stage that we're gonna get into is the vintage effect on berry and wine composition. Um, and this will include uh, speaker Elizabeth Forstel from UC Davis, Cecilia Cunningham, and Tibo will join us again. Uh, there is a bit of a switch uh, the last minute. I forgot to tell you this, Cecilia, but we are bringing Cecilia on first and Elizabeth on uh, second. So we will we'll let you guys know when that happens. Um, and then after that is concluded, we have a very special segment 
which is our panel on exploring methods of artificial intelligence in agriculture. Um, and this was a, a panel that was organized by Luca Brillante of Fresno State. And we have some of the foremost experts in the industry um, coming to discuss what impacts uh, artificial intelligence will have on wine growing in the coming years um, and in the coming generations. The next segment that we have, which is gonna be after our lunch, which is gonna be, I think it's gonna be a few minutes after one o'clock. But um, after lunch, we're going to start the Enology Bridges section. And this is a brand new section uh, that we're really proud to establish. Um, and what it is, is we aim to connect what we know about the vintage with new understandings and new technologies in the cellar. Um, so we'll be hearing from Laurie Fajeton of Vivilis, from Eric Hervé of ETS, and Francois Margot. And then we have another new segment, and this year we're gonna start uh, doing breakout sessions. And we have two breakout sessions to offer. But what this basically means is uh, you as the attendee will have to choose which room you wanna go into. Um, and we're going to have simultaneous presentations at the same time. Um, so that we can focus on one element of technology that has recurring importance to this forum um, and discuss it in greater depth. And um, one of the breakout sessions is gonna be led by Galena Seabrook of G3 Enterprises. Um, she's going to be discussing uh, different functions of oak in terms of oak components format and desired wine styles. And this is gonna be a live demo so uh, Galena has brought six wines to taste and we'll walk every, everyone through um, all of the different options in choosing uh, oak and oak products. And then um, we will be hearing from the Fruition Sciences team, uh, from Ryan and, and Gino, who are going to be discussing sap flow um, as a essential plant-based sensor to not only understanding irrigation, but also getting a much better idea of plant physiology. Um, and after all of that is over, I hope everyone can stay for our wine tasting. Um, so this year, we have been um, working with our winery partners who have generously donated wines uh, for today's event, um, including Wenti, Silver Oak, um, Duckhorn, Alpha Omega. Francois Frere is bringing some extraordinary wines from Burgundy for us all to taste. And then we also have beers. It's my understanding we have beers from uh, Mad Fritz. So uh, do join us for that. It's going to be, this is the informal tasting. It's just a lot of fun. Um, so come have a drink with us. So how do we do all of this? How do we put on the entire event? Um, well, we're very reliant on our partner, which is Fruition Sciences. So Fruition Sciences is the parent company of the Vintage Report, my organization, um, and supports us every single year with all of our events throughout the world. And Fruition, as many know, is a precision agriculture company that's based both in here in Napa and in Mont Montpellier, France. Um, we're also supported by ETS, who is our title sponsor for this event. Um, as many of us know, uh, ETS has been here since the 1970s, supporting our industry with the most accurate analysis and laboratory work that's available. Um, so we're very thankful to have their support. And also, we are supported by uh, 360 Viti, uh, one of our title sponsors. And this is a software application developed by Fruition Sciences. Um, we have three Enology sponsors. And these three companies have helped us um, invest and understand uh, more about the value chain of wines. And so we're very pleased to have been working with Vivlis, G3, and DM. And then we're very thankful for our base of support um, from our general sponsors. Um, Wine X-Ray, Dynamax, Palenque, Francois Frere, and an artist. Uh, these companies have been with us year after year. Um, many of them since uh, in and out since the past 10 years that we've been doing this program. And um, again, these are the companies that help us, all of our sponsors help us underwrite our costs for this event um, throughout the entire year. So without them, we couldn't be producing these events, and we're very thankful for that. Um, and a bit of a side note, um, in the past we've used this uh, app, Slido, and we're gonna be reusing it again this year um, to aggregate and collect questions that happen um, throughout presentations. So if you have a burning question between um, someone's presentation, you can take out your phone or computer, um, type in slido.com into a web browser, 
and then enter the, the access or the event code, uh, NAPA Vintage Report, and you'll find our event. Um, I've included this information on all of the, um, the question slides for our speakers, but um, it's a really awesome way to, um, one, I mean, you can, again, ask any questions that come up throughout presentation. You can ask questions anonymously, um, and if we don't have time to answer one of these questions, we will uh, come back to it after lunch with a, a short uh, question and answer session. Okay, so now we're gonna get into our keynote address, which today is being delivered by Nova Karamatre. Um, many of us may, may know her from having worked with her as a winemaker throughout uh, the North Coast, um, but uh, I had a conversation with her uh, before the vintage started, uh, sorry, before the harvest started, and wanted to see if she would mind giving her take on some wine growing practices. And I realized it would be a tremendous value to have uh, Nova come and speak with us today because of, of course she's an accomplished winemaker, um, but also a master of wine. And so she's able to share information with us um, from new perspectives. And so, and, and also Nova has been a winemaker not only here in, on the North Coast, um, but in Napa, I'm sorry, in New York, another net end name. And then um, she'll be sh sharing her experiences uh, from the East Coast as well. So if you wouldn't mind, but please join me in welcoming uh, Nova Karamatre.